Why, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here to react to Semal Tau. Mmm, it's my favorite mountain. I know, so this time the, the subtitles are actually on. Go, I'm we'll do a little exchange. Bouncy, Andrea 20 code, this. The deer. We spa. Or deers. Pants, 10% off, hair and pants. Links below. I feel like no one is able to understand what you're selling right now. I'm oh, sorry. It's like you, you just like rapid fire. Deer, pillow, pants. And pillow, pants, stuff. What's Animal. Your, mm -hmm. Links below. Mm -hmm. I love but this. But I, I know it's so cute. But Samal Tao, I'm glad that I don't know how to pronounce these things properly, so please We're sorry. give us some grace. But we are very excited to watch this. And I still, every time I say it, I, no one no one tells us where we can buy a deer headband. I totally would. Yeah. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we will start right now. Supposed to probably represent like a morning on the mountain or something. Is that the vibe? It sounded terrible. Oh my! <laughs> it's not a pleasant sound to the ears. I mean, I don't think it's we know to be... we know this man is a master. But I yeah, think I think it's supposed it... to sound like I'm a kidding. Cow. They're setting like a soundscape. Yes. To put us in the Samal Mountains. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's worked. It's literally just like, the what's Kibitsu in the player. back of it? I don't even know. Is that what's making the sound? Uh, well, this musicians react, so I have no idea. Because I'm <laughs> not like a, I'm not like a real musician. Well, it's because we just don't know these kinds of instruments because they're not mm -hmm. used where we are. It is. Fu it's funny hearing a master of an instrument use it to make just terrible sounds. And you know that happens a lot with guitar players too. Like a lot of guitar players like get bored with being so good, so they just start to get like out there. Yeah, and I guess yeah. it's more experimental. Yeah, more experimental. Somewhere. You know, you're doing your thing. And it makes like a interesting vibe. Mm So I'm assuming this is a war themed song. I believe like kind so. Of a war cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, it's a yeah, you know, it really is amazing how captivating he really is. You know, I it's like you can just hear some whatever and then we start singing it's like, oh I know. I'm paying I'm instantly paying more attention. I would like to say the the whole like stage design. Oh, it's like, amazing. Oh, it looks I know. like he's like walking down. Sure. A like that blue mountain, not mountain, like it's kind of river looking, snaky water thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, but obviously it's an illusion. But like it definitely does look like that. At first, I was oh, like, wait, yeah. is he coming down from something? But there's down no elevation. Mountain. Yeah. But it's... it makes it seem like there is. And of course, everybody wants my take on his hairstyle. Oh, of course. There's uh... another rule. There's another life rule for you. Oh no. Never trust a man with his hair slicked back. 
Never, never trust a man with his hair slicked back. Wow. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. Dimash is making it work, of course, because he always does. But this isn't his finest hairstyle. I, I don't know. I believe his hairstyle is uh, representative of the mistrust a boy has who comes from a land and is looking to be a warrior. He doesn't know if that is supposed to be his past. Hmm. That mistrust in the, the ground laid before him. He's channeling through a slick back hairstyle. doesn't speak the language reading the subtitles and listening to him it's like it's kind of amazing how how he just makes it make sense you know what i mean like i i don't understand the words that he's saying but reading the words and hearing just kind of his inflection and his intonation and the way he sings things is like he really delivers that message that really crosses language barriers which I think is pretty Are you impressive. Touched, Sean? I'm, I'm very touched by it. You know, I, I feel oh like my, I feel like I've never seen you this have, emotional. Uh, it's, you know, that's because I put my trust in a man with slick back hair. Uh, I broke my own rule. I know, but I, that's why it's always nice when the subtitles are there because sometimes they're the not there. Subtitles are great, yeah. And then it kind of gives us less to work with. So I understand why people get triggered because they're like, oh, you don't know the lyrics. But I'm like, I can't. Like, there's mm. no lyrics. Like, it's not Yeah, like we're, like, we're sorry. Yeah. And also, even sometimes the uh, the translations aren't even spot on. This like, one, I feel like, is spot on. Except for straggling. He said he was straggling for a while. Dimash does not struggle. Oh, well, okay. he's no, no, probably no, 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 no. He, he does a not role struggle. Even it. playing a role, Dimash is not one to struggle. I'm obsessed with this stage. I have mm -hmm. no idea the what The sta stage are. design it's is, like, amazing. ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I literally am, like, in awe. Mm -hmm. And also, the only things that you can see are Dimash and those two um, players from the beginning. The percussion guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love how they, like, actually put them in the spotlight. I really, really... really Getting in on those chimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Working those chimes. <laughs> I've, like never a speed bag. Work a chime I've never like seen a man work a chime. I've never seen a man work a chime. Not like that. No, not like no, that. not like our boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, can never. You? Also, don't trust a man who can work a chime like that. Oh really? Ah uh, no, I'm impressed. I feel like eventually, you're not gonna be able to trust. I don't a trust anyone. <laughs> I don't trust any of these people. Oh gosh. <laughs> Beautiful though. Continuing. Mm -hmm. before he did the whole Eastern scale, it sounded like mm -hmm. he was his own sampled instrument. He does it a lot. Yeah, you know? I know. 
Now that we're getting a better look at the uh, the silver chain. I really love this suit. He definitely looks like a sports bookie. I think that's what I was trying to put my finger on. I don't even know what that. Uh huh. I'm coming to put a put a hundred in the game. Sports bookie Dimash. Well, like a classy sports bookie. I'm not trying to. I don't really know if that's yeah. the vibe I'm getting. That's what I, I'm getting. But oh, the our, our the chime man has a beautiful silk robe on. Does he really? I didn't even notice. You know, I've recently come into possession of a silk robe. It's not high quality. It's what? <laughs> what? I mean, it's not like Dimash. Well, kind of well, Dimash is wearing a silk robe. Wait, how did you saw the silk robe? I mean, it wouldn't fit. Should like, we splice Dimash in would... the video no. of you wearing the silk robe? Absolutely not. But do you I... see like their little selves? Like they're wearing their little robes. Yeah. I can't from here. Your How eyesight you is not? that good that you can call those silk robes from here? Yes. Absolutely not. I Continuing. call cap. Oh, oh, you know, now I do see, I do see that the nice silk robe Asha, of, the no, finest, of the finest quality. See that person in the front row wearing that, that <laughs> yellow cap? That's a nice cap. In the front row. You're being so it's dramatic. Good. Good. My eyesight is. Also, I would like to say related. there's like a pocket of this of this performance that's like I don't even know. It feels like on an uppie or something. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there's like an interesting rhythm. People are gonna love this reaction. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. On it's on, on the upbeat, eh? That's, I don't yeah, know. Uh -huh. It's just kind of uneasy. I don't yeah. have to tell you. Keep you on your toes. Just keep you on your toes. It's an uneasy rhythm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. That that girl in the in the third row looks like oh, she's a little no. sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh shot. <Sean. laughs> You're getting into cancel territory. <laughs> she looks a little sick. <laughs> Great, as always. See? Not so. I guess they're like princely. Yeah, that's a that's a prince's garb. I would just like to say that was like I feel like that deserves to be in a movie. Or like a musical or something. I want to know what happens next. Yeah, literally. Sorry. The story mm -hmm. does not feel like it is over. Yeah, he wonders what his life will be. Like this feels like Hercules or something. Disney movie. Yeah, yeah. It feels like a Disney movie. Before the hero like goes off to war, mm -hmm. Slash goes off to try to like go on some insane adventure. There's like his buddies that are coming along for the ride. Yeah. You know, like you know what I mean? Him. Yeah, I get it. I'd watch it. I'm with Amazing. you. Amazing. This one was great. I, yeah. know, I know people have requested this. It's good because I, I, I prefer the storytelling songs to the, the vocal, magnificent, powerhouse showcase songs. Yeah, I guess. I guess it was, there was no, like, in like, Yeah, there were big moments. Big he, showed, moments. He, he did a great job but as he always does. there like, oh, well. But, that, but that's also because we've watched so much Dimash that so even his like if I was right. probably watching this for the first time never hearing Dimash I'd be like whoa I like everything but since we already know kind of yeah I, 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 I like it because there were characters like these guys were kind of characters of like the mountain and stuff yes. like that and, that and that's why I I always just kind of appreciate the more storytelling vibe atmosphere and Dimash is so good at that too he can do anything but those are just the ones that I prefer so I liked it and the stage was literally the setting of the song mm -hmm. So I feel like that helped me. Well, what did we learn here, Andrea? Visualize what did we learn? It. We learned a couple life lessons. I learned... Um, Never to... Trust a man with his hair slicked back for whatever reason. Yes, and also, just don't worry about it, and also never to... Trust a man who plays the chimes. Like a savant. Like a savant. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I don't know if I agree with you. Don't, you, don't get that, you don't get that far in the chime game. Without cracking a few heads. You know what I mean? You're acting like it's way more cutthroat than it is. Because it's, so. it's the chime game? It's the I most mean, cutthroat industry there is. Oh, is that as your as yes. your musician's opinion? Yeah, why do you, th you think you see any chimes around here? No. Yeah, exactly. Proves my point. 
Well, that was just, anyways, I was just gonna say, and also, I, what we also learned was that Dimash's um, stage scene, stage designers are ex exquisite. Exquisite, amazing. exquisitely amazing, huh? He probably did it himself. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. He put that, he designed that, graphic designed that. Love it. Hmm? Yeah. They set the, they set the setting. <laughs> the setting. Set the setting. Cool. Well, it was a great time. Thanks for having me, Drea. Oh, of course. Thank you. That felt like a play. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And feel free to let us know what other Dimash things we should react to.